Hey everybody, welcome to Brick Vault. Today is another LEGO Top 10 Mocks of the Week. It's, uh, I think, everybody's favorite episode to do here in the studio for Sundays. And what we basically do is find the coolest stuff people were building out of LEGO throughout the week. We shine a little light on it, talk about what we thought was awesome. All of their builds are linked below and some of the other builders that we liked but just didn't have time to put in. Speaking of links in the description, there is also our web store and the latest mock creation to come out from BrickFault.toys is Jarek's X-Wing. This creation has gone through quite a long process of build and rebuild and design and redesign, and I think Jarek has knocked something out really, really special. Highly recommend you guys go check out the video and the web store. And all right, let's jump in. Oh, wait, 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 hold on. If you have fan mock creations and want to have them appear at the end of the episode, also the link for our email is in the description below if you want to send in pictures of your own. Okay, now let's jump into the first mock of the week. This here is is an interesting and kind of shrouded robotic character called Ibrahim by Cameron. I've really been liking the system and Bionicle combination figure builds that have I don't know, I think they've been going on for a while within the LEGO community, but I personally have just been getting drawn to them quite a lot in the last several weeks or months. A very expressive, interesting character. I highly recommend you check out more of his figures in his Flickr. And this build is very, very, very impressive. It's just called Grapes, as you might imagine, and it's by Josephine Monteroso. I don't know if there's uh, legal connections or something weird going on inside that jumble of grapes, but frankly, I don't really care, or I might care a little bit, but honestly, this is probably one of the better fruit or food uh, micro builds that you'll ever see. In fact, most people upon first glance might not guess that it's Lego. Honestly though, this builder was a first time discover for me. Everything she's got up in her flicker, I absolutely love. Really great Brickheads figures and awesome uh, figures. Just really expressive characters and shot well with a nice eye for perspective. So I highly recommend you check out her flicker. This was a new discover for me. The third build up for this video is Cyberpunk 2046 Shells of Society. That's the title and it's from the builder Lego Finn. Maybe I've just got a soft spot having just watched the Cyberpunk 77 trailer, or no, this is actually just a really good build. You can see that we're living in a sort of a war-torn place, or perhaps there was a war long ago. The building is destroyed, some of the levels have been knocked out, and people have taken up residence with a very sort of post-apocalyptic and somewhat flamboyant futuristic style. The inclusion of the hotel sign broken down is awesome. Anyways, really fun mock. This is the Hog Hogwarts Express, if you couldn't tell, it's a micro build and coming out at a pretty appropriate time, I would say, because it does look like this could scale really, really well next to the Hogwarts, the giant Hogwarts Castle micro set that just came out. It's a new approach for micro smoke coming out of the stack at the top, which I like. And if you haven't seen David Zambito's flicker yet, you are just plain old missing out. Let's move on to the next build. This is a new builder also that I just discovered, Throw Pots. And there was just something really simple and fun I liked about the When You Wish Upon a Star build, that's the title, and what we're pretty much looking at here is Cinderella's rocket ship. And it's just got a wonderful combination of sort of embroidered details and little color highlights here and there. And it brings you back to kind of that old classic style of building that feels a bit more cartoonish, which is also quite appropriate for the mini doll fig. Now, moving down the line at first glance for this next build, you might think I went off on that monochrome architecture stuff like a couple weeks ago, but actually this is the the Taj Mahal, so the colors are totally appropriate. And I like that all of the off-white pieces there aren't, I don't believe they are um, like light tan or other types of yellow, but instead the builder intentionally took old off-white yellowed, naturally yellowed white pieces to complete this mock. This comes from Jens Orndorff, and the official title for this build is 1001 Nights. People keep on finding great uses for those nice long slender slabs that have been, I think, initially created for hot air balloons. That's what makes up the shape of that large dome in the center. And I still just can't get over the inclusion of those off yellowed pieces. It really does add a bit more dimension to this build, especially at its scale. And let's move on. This is number seven. Yeah, number seven in the lineup. And this comes from the builder or builders, Tokyo Tag Team. That's why I think it's two builders just based on uh, their title for their flicker. The title of this is Mecha Pus. And what I love about these builders is every time I see something come from the 
these guys. It's honestly not Lego all the time. They definitely focus on other toys and other things, but every time a Lego build comes from this Flicker, it's so fun and interesting and creative. The color combination for the mechanical pod that is on top of this slimy octopus-like creature definitely reminds me of those um, vehicles that came from the Lego Ninjago movie line, but the inclusion of a lot more white really breaks it up. And honestly, uh, what are we looking at here? Is this guy controlling a living giant octopus? I can't quite tell, but that juxtaposition between the uh, slimy, smooth, and curving pieces that make up the tentacles and the mechanical build with the new X-Wing uh, windscreen piece at the top, it's just a really fun looking kind of fantasy creature vehicle. And okay, here's here's another one. This comes from the builder Lucas Libususki, right Mike? Łukasz Libuszewski, yeah, yeah, that's correct, Jack. Okay, yeah, see, I got it. I was totally right. Uh, it's called Victorian Street. And what really grabbed my eye here is that this is probably uh, one of the stronger color palettes that I've seen for a combination of buildings. They're somewhat scrammed together, and that yellow building is nice and flamboyant, but doesn't throw off the whole look of this composition because it's evened out with a lot of uh, olive green and nougat. And hold on, I'm cutting myself off, but it's also worth checking out the original color concept art that also came from this same designer. He drew it out, I think, first and then modeled the building after the initial drawing. It's absolutely amazing. The only thing I'm going to point out here as a bit of detailing that I absolutely love is the wall made up of alternating colors of those plate modifieds with the door rail sticking out the edge. That's the first time I've seen that particular detail employed for just kind of making a cool looking wall decoration and it absolutely works for this build. Let's move on to a first time builder that I've never seen before until today. And what we have here is a Lego Humvee, 10 stud wide. So that's the title of the build. Easy, simple, but the build doesn't look anything uh, near easy and simple. Coming from the designer Manuel Cara, he took a Lego build that has been done a million times before the Humvee, but he built it at just a slightly higher scale and added an absolute megaton uh, more details and just more accurate lines that shape out this Humvee. Personally, I'd say my favorite bits of shaping for this model are the uh, wheel wells for the back wheels, as well as the approach on the doors, the way they open up. And who am I kidding? There's actually a lot to love about this design and I highly recommend you check out his Flickr if you wanna see even more slightly upscaled above minifig scale with exponentially more detail. Now I have seen in the comment section before some people like to rag on me or Mike if we put a build up that's only existing in a digital format, not actually a real build. But you know what? I don't care about any of that. This build and all of the subsequent builds that come from CK1981 are just amazing. And this latest one, this is the Blacktron Blood Raven drone, just has a really menacing and sleek, daring kind of look. I have no doubt based on what this looks like that it could actually exist in real life. And who knows? Maybe this is a real build. The render looks really darn good and you can't actually see the stickers on there. So who knows? Maybe this does actually exist in real life, but this guy is constantly building and it's hard to say which one of his uh, really sleek and uh, awe-inspiring ships is really better than the next one. And okay, with that, I feel like I've gone through all 10 of the mocks that I wanted to. Remember, check out the description below for our web store and there's other Flickr accounts also listed that I just haven't had time to talk about. Now, thank you to everybody who have submitted your build pictures to us throughout the week. I'm sorry that I don't have time to respond to everybody. Some of you guys write really, really nice notes and we absolutely love it and appreciate it here at the studio. Who knows, maybe we'll go back to doing a fan mock creation uh, exclusive episode. Don't quote me on that, but we really do appreciate it. And uh, feel free to send in mocks whenever you guys feel like. All right, here are the top 10, sorry, here are the fan mocks of the week.
Hey everybody, just popping in really quick, wanted to let you know that we have a Lego web store, www.brickvault.toys, where we sell the PDF step-by-step -step instructions for some very high quality Lego mocks. It's definitely worth checking out. The revenue from the web store helps support us here at the channel, as well as the incredibly talented designers that work so hard to make these amazing Lego builds. So if you want to check that out, it is www.brickvault.toys. Thanks a lot for watching everybody, and we'll see you next time at Brick Vault.